welcome, welcome, my friends. I'm on the beach here. And um, I'm going to do a little reading this evening. And the sun's a couple hours away, but I figured, why not come out and enjoy my time? We've got some pelicans. Just, I hope you can see. I've been trying to set it up. I don't even know if you can see me, but... There's a bunch of pelicans right there, and learn the pelican totem animal wisdom is beautiful. But I did bring out some decks. Of course, I brought out the mermaids and dolphins, the uh, Doreen. And I've had this deck for a long time. You'll see I had to, you know, hide some of my markings because I used to write in the cards. But this is the Tarot of Gemstones and Crystals. And I want to make sure that we're recording. I hope so. Okay. The tarot. So I'm going to pull those out because, my friends, you have to get involved with the crystals every day. And then I'm bringing out the Lucy Oracle of Mermaids. And I have a little love of my life here with my Larry Mar and my beautiful crystal that comes from the beach that I can frequent. I have my Lapis Lazuli sphere and a and a beautiful shell I found out here, too. Okay, so, oop, looks like the Oracle of Mermaids wants to speak. Now, I haven't chosen yet what I'm going to um, set up. So, because I know I, I can't do a nine-card spread. I mean, not that I can't, but I don't, I don't think it's what we need to do. So, let me just put these right here for the moment. And we, we will pick some cards. Okay, I'm just going to bring everything out. And then first I'm going to pick from the um, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins first. And then let's see what comes through. And then we'll, we'll take from there whatever happens. Okay? Alrighty. So, um, you all know I love the beach, right? I love the beach. Alright, so let's just see what happens. And again, I have a stand now, so I can work with two hands, but I, I can't see, because literally the sun, again, I'm, I'm literally, don't, I'm hoping that everything you can see is what I'm doing, if not, yeah, that's how it goes. I try to set it up, but I'm not sure, because I literally, I can't see. Okay, so, let us do... Let us do three of these, okay? And I'm angling them in front of the camera where I think it proceeds. Morning affirmations, okay? Pay attention. Music for manifesting. Okay. So let's let that ride for now. And then I have my the tarot of gemstones and crystals. And I think I'll align two cards with the three that we just pulled out. Hierophant, the diamond, lovely. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Queen of Coins, the agate. And the last one from the Oracle of the Mermaids. Hi, babies. Seagulls know who I am. <laughs> I always talk to the birds out here. Again, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to 
This is the first time I've had a little stand for my camera, so I don't even know the angle that I'm doing, but... So we're going to do eight hard spread. One closing. Atlantis. C, 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 C. Yeah. I have spoken of Atlantis before, my friends. And I hope you can see the image. I'm not trying to stick my head in here. I'm just trying to see what I, you can see. But yes, Atlantis will be rising soon again. And I totally believe it will be off the coast of Florida and the Caribbean. Okay. So let us continue with the reading. And... Uh, I'm just going to highlight the cards again. I'm not going to get too involved. But the morning affirmations. Morning affirmations, if you can see. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. And every morning as I awake, I have an attitude of gratitude. I think... Whatever, you know, I thank Jesus, I thank Mother Mary, I thank Isis, I thank every divine inspiration. And again, I hope I'm filming this correctly because I can't see uh, what's going on. I thank them every day, every day. You know, I thank whoever in my life that loves me, I love them back. So do that. Pay attention. Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. And I literally do. You know, that's why sometimes you just got to get rid of people, people. You got to get rid of people, people. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of people say, oh, I like you. But behind your back, they're effing with you. Get, get rid of those people. Really, honestly, start intuitively knowing who's cool, who are the cool cats, and who are just people, uh, you know, you know who, who are the people that you know how to get rid of when they, um, you know, trolling you, asking you for information all the time. When people are asking you for information all the time, they're sucking the juice out of you. Okay? And then, when you call them on that sucking the juice out of me, you vampire, you know what happens? Then they want to turn it around and say, you're the bad person. <laughs> well, I got a message for those people. So pay attention to that message that's coming for those people. Because I got it. Because on the YouTube, it's all about that right now. And I've shared already a video about that. So notice... Repetitious signs in your inner guidance that this can yield valuable information. For all the angel card pickers who are demons in the background, prepare yourselves. I'm coming for you. And then there's music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly. Oh, look at the fly I have on my hand. That's a good sign. To manifest. And again, my friends, can you see what I'm doing? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, hold on, maybe I think it's on this angle. Music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. And my friends, you know how I love to dance. I play my little videos while I'm dancing. You know, and I, I really can't sing. I'm more like screen chant. But it's all good, okay? So play the music. And because the music has tones and codes, okay? It's vibrational sounds from the cosmos. It's not a language that we speak, but it's a universal universal scenario where we literally, we literally have vibrations from the cosmic realm. So again, and I hope you can see these cards. Forgive me if you can't, but you know these cards pretty much. Okay, now we have the Hierophant. The diamond on the Hierophant is 
the number five major arcana comes through in diamond. Obviously, everybody loves about the diamond. No doubt about it. So, with this card, and you know, you can see there's so many diamonds, right? Again, I apologize. That, can you see what I see? I um, mean, the Hierophant is all about these def definitely different diamond colors, yellow diamonds, the pink diamonds. All exquisite are the diamonds. But the diamond, and I'll read from this deck here, it imparts clarity and illumination. We experience our relationship to the cosmos with it. Feel harmony and closeness to God. It becomes clear to us how important each individual is in his connection to the universe. And the interpretation of this card, if you can see, revelation, authority, advice, honor, trust, intuition, perception, reserve, mediator between God and the human being, forbearing, Forgiveness of errors, religion, and family. Okay? And in the traditional tarot, it is usually, you know, respected as the Papa Pope. But now we know that the Pope and the Vatican are ruled by Illuminati factors. So deny that. And uh, a lot of you may not like that I just said that, but... I said it out loud. And that's why this card came out. Because the Vatican, and now, you know, popes hurting children by sexual acts. And Pope Benedict came out that he's gay. Well, no wonder he was okay with priests doing the boys. The altar boys. I'm telling you. I'm going to start talking more frequent and kind of being like very bitchy and sarcastic because I don't like what's going on. And again, for you YouTube players who call, you know, sign off as namaste, I'm coming for you. And I'm coming for that main Illuminati player who's loading up pictures with orbs in the Vatican that it's all photoshopped. I'm living on my beach, people. I do what I want. And I'm living on the universe as the cosmos. And I don't care what anybody has to say about this video tonight. I really don't. Because I'm sick and tired of watching a lot of videos that are bullshit. And honestly, you three card players, you know, if you want to light your candles all the time, every time I see the vapor, the smoke vapor around your candles, that you relight and relight, that's the negative energy people are sending you are in your house. I'm gonna say it out loud right now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say it out loud. The Queen of Coins. And we're gonna read about her. Huh? So we got the Queen of Coins. The Agate. And this is a beautiful one. It's gold color. Again, I can't see what I'm doing here, so we'll go with the flow. Agate connects us with the earth, the material world, and reality. It teaches us sensitivity in dealing with our fellow human beings and a prudent choice of words and conversation. This precious stone also helps us in our search for truth and therefore allows us to accept even unpleasant circumstances. And the tarot interpretation? Reality, wealth, fertility, security, comfort, home, homeland, gifts, wedding, mother, wife, businesswoman, generous, mature, sensual woman. 
fabulous. And you know what? I am the queen of diamonds, people. Be on my birthday. Look up the videos I've done on that one. And then we go to Atlantis. Who's going to deny me of the Atlantis? The uh, Lucy Cavendish. And the birdies are crazy today. Usually they're not that crazy. But I got to make sure everybody can see the card. Oh, yeah. Okay, Lucy Cavendish. That's one thing, people. I don't like wearing glasses. I only had to start wearing glasses when I turned 44. I was very proud of that, but now I'm 53, so... Yowza. Okay, and the number is 19. The sun card in the tarot. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love my beach, people. I'm a different personality. Because really, I'm a gypsy. I'm a gypsy witch. And I love the sun, and I love the stars, and I love my luna. And no one's going to ever take that away from me. But honestly, I'm going to say it again. I'm coming for all the haters on the YouTube. And you know how Atlantis got dropped? Because of egomaniacs. The egomaniacs of Atlantis. And I see that on the YouTube, all these people think that they're, you know, they're like all of that because they can read a card or they can call a stone or, you know what, you, you should respect the gift that you have received and have an attitude of gratitude. The Atlantis message, rapid development, excellence, success. The mermaid scene. We are, at, we are at a golden moment in time. So much is changing so quickly. Humans are awakening the planet at the point of having a time that at, is at once peaceful and exciting, dynamic and comforting. It can be a time of greatness in your life. But you will need courage and the desire for power over must be shifted to the power to. The more you know you are connected to the divine, that you are the divine itself, the more you will behave in the ways that are divine. When you lose that connection and the belief, when you view yourselves as merely impertinent, meaningless players on a stage, temporary witnesses, then the golden time can vanish. Keep the vision alive. It is time to strike that balance between selflessness and the actualized self who is operating out of love, not hubris. And the divination. A feeling of connection to crystals, to secret creatures to being able to heal and work with people telepathically, an urgent desire to do something more meaningful with your life, past life memories as an Atlantean or even a dolphin a, or other sea creature surfacing, learning to swim, dive, mermaid, scuba dive, and a desire to be beneath the waves connection to ancient sacred sites, feelings of bliss, connection and higher powers and abilities returning to you, a sense of being at one with angels, animals, wizards, and all, a wonderful variety of beings in your life who have so much in common with you, greater powers of communication, less fear, and feeling you have great abilities and fearlessly exploring them. Perhaps for the first time, this lifetime, not being so concerned with making a mistake, a sharpening of abilities, an appreciation of science, the desire to experiment and develop abilities, the astonishment of seeing how quickly you can advance, flow, high vibrations, sophistication, 
logic and brilliance are heightened. And I'm going to say again, I find these crystals. And I hope you can see what I'm sharing here. But I do find these crystals. And I believe that Atlantis will be rising again. I don't know if it's in my lifetime. But I do believe it will come off the coast of Florida and the Caribbean. I hope you all listen to that. And again, I am praying telepathically for the dolphins in Japan. So join me, my friends. Because we can heal this Mother Earth. Well, I hope you like this reading. And things are coming, people, whether you like it or not. But again, I'm going to uh, reiterate that I've said it once before in my paranormal readiness video. And I'm going to drop another one because the, you know, haters are out there. And it's a done time for that. And the egomaniacs. And, 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 you know, I don't want to close a nice reading with, but I'm going to balance it out. It's, you know, Atlantis was taken out because they got egomaniac. And now, and now by the higher forces of the cosmic nature, they will arise it again. But only with people that respect the nature. Can you make this? You know, the one saying that I'm all about me and me. Yeah, can you decipher this code here? If you can decipher this code here, then you, you can speak to me. But you reading a card, I don't respect that. And the negativity that's flowing is high. Again, I've shared, and I'll close with this. Predators are here. There are two ways to live. Either you are the sons of light or the sons of darkness. And, you know, if you're an atheist, forget about it. You're, you know, you're going to take it out and you wouldn't be watching this video anyway. And that's why there's so much negativity in this planet. But for the readers out there, clean your candles. Okay, stop with the vapor black on your candles every time I see it. And I don't, I'm, I'm starting to stop watching everybody, really. And I, I'm saying, this is, my, this is my world, I'm going to live my world. But everybody just sucking up on everybody. Is, and you're not going to suck up on me, you vampires. Trust that. And I've already released my boy, and I think he's already uh, brought back some homework for me. Oh, oh. He brought it back. But you know what? It is what it is. And I'm talking my jive. And I love where I live. And I'm grateful to be uh, a bi bitch. A, bi a beach bitch? There you go. I'm a beach bitch. Beach bitch all as a witch. Oh, what are the... That's a cute... I love my life, people. And I'd like to heal everybody. I think we had a nice reading today, but honestly, some days I'm like overwhelmed, overwhelmed by the negativity by people who called it, you know, themselves uh, angel card readers. Ciao.